I'm at the field this morning with the FRC Foamies F18. This is our prototype. We're trying to get this released pretty soon here. This is a scale looking plane, meaning that there's no thrust vectoring. We've got the rear prop motor on it. Uh, but more importantly, Jay did an excellent job designing this to look extremely scale. Everything about it looks right on. This is based off of an F-18 that Jay and I saw when we were visiting Jetaman Dan down in Maryland. What I've got on here are a 4x4 setup. I've got the elevons and ailerons moving on roll. Got uh, elevons separate for pitch. I've also got a uh, mix in there to bring the V-tails in. Since there's no thrust vectoring coming off the motor, we need all the help we can get on pitch. And then uh, I've got spoilerons. We'll see if we can get to those. Uh, but also we've got flaps and slats. This plane we're going to try to do really scale with all the control surfaces too. So I don't know if I'll get to the flaps and slats today, but uh, just wanted to take this up and make sure all the setups are right. I've got the full elevons on the back. And in order to do that, things are a little bit complicated back there. This is a setup I use on my uh, canard planes with uh, steel rods. The uh, Home Depot didn't have the tempered steel rods that I normally get, so these are a little bit softer, so I'm expecting a little bit of flex, but I may have to redo those. But the standard plane comes with a hinge right here, which is more uh, a lot easier to do. It's lighter, and uh, it's probably a lot stronger. So underneath the plane, I've got the, uh, all the servos set up. I've got the, um, the ailerons, the elevons. This is the rudder servo here. And these are the uh, slat servos here. And uh, the weight of the plane is 21 ounces with all these servos, eight servos. I'm using foam tack and Depron on this build for a little bit more rigidity. And the power system is the Microjet version 3 on a 6x4 prop, 3 cell. I initially wanted to try a 2S uh, setup on this with the 7-inch uh, wide slow fly prop, but the weight, especially with this setup on the back here and the extension cable, is getting just a little bit too high. There's no way I could keep it under 18 ounces. Uh, so it's... What the heck was that? I think I hit my jacket with the prop. You can hear the intakes, the air coming through the intakes. I totally trimmed in. I'm using no trim on this and it's flying nice and level. Very nice roll considering there's no thrust vectoring on the elevons. Alright, I'm going to uh, try to remember which switch is which without looking. Okay, I've got the uh, V-tails on. All right, so better pitch control. I saw a uh, picture of an F-18 going off an aircraft carrier and the uh, V-tails were on. The, the uh, rudders were being used for pitch coming off the aircraft carrier. So I figured I might as well set that as a standard mix. I may just have the uh, V-tails activated all the time. This plane is doing very well on the Microjet version 3. I was a little bit worried about the weight.
<laughs> All right, let's see what we can do in the way of high alpha. Bring it down a little bit lower. This is going to be high alpha with no uh, spoiler on. Using rudders for steering. Very stable. Got a little bit of wind from the back now, so I gotta try to keep the air speed up. The rudders are very responsive. Yeah, all right. All right, I'm gonna try the flaps now. Flaps and slats. That's not bad for a plane with no thrust vectoring. It's flying really slow. All right, I'll have to experiment with angles on the slats yet because it's not giving me um, great performance. Interesting, definitely interesting. Maybe I need a higher angle. I was going a little bit conservative to start. All right, we'll bring it down. A center of gravity can be back like it was on the first um, flight, which is right about here. I had it right here now, and it's uh, a little bit more lethargic, so back here is just fine. And I think putting it even back further while using the slats and flaps uh, may even work. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can do that now.